Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Guys channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a very old friend of the channel, believe it or not. We're going to be having a look at Mr. Angel Snub Snub, or as his channel name is, Reality's Temple on Earth. And, yeah, this is going to be about race mixing. So, that... Let's get into the video, shall we? And I just had a little something, something I was thinking about. Just want to put it out to the audience, see what you have to think about it. Maybe we think the same, maybe we don't. Well, I disagree with you, Mr. Snubnub. I disagree with you on this motor. I want to make, as I always say, perfectly clear. I do not care who you fall in love with. Well, it's very funny that you are saying that you do not want to tell people who that they can love, but you're making a video about how bad it is that blacks and whites are mixing and having children and so forth. And later on in the film or video, you start discussing about how the DNA starts to get diluted and it's no longer pure DNA anymore. Like you're some sort of Aryan or some sort of supremacist of some kind. Those of you who are descendants of slaves born in America, having dark skin with African or Aboriginal ancestry, and you are married or you are dating or you find some kind of romantic connection to Caucasian people, which I don't understand, but if that's your thing, so be it. I still, I still love you. I still respect you. But I, I'm like a, I'm like Hall and Oates. I'm not down for that. Interesting. So you're not down for that type of a situation or falling in love with white people or others falling in love with others or whatever. You're now going to explain why you think it's bad and try to formulate an argument for why you think other people should think the same way as you do, as in we shouldn't race mix. Interesting how you started off this actual video, wasn't it? I'm very suspicious of what we call interracial relationship. Why? Why would you be suspicious of interracial relationships? First of all, it's unnatural for you to want to fall in love and romance a people who have a history. I don't care. I don't care if they never participated. These are the children of people who uh, done, done uh, very heinous crimes against your ancestors. And, and matter of fact, they have not stopped. This group of people still doing the same thing and you fall in love with them. You fall in love with them after all the lynchings, all the housing discrimination, employment discrimination, the, the, the lynchings, the murder, the slavery, and you fall in love. See, that's to me, really, that's a, uh, what's the word? That's a treason, a betrayal of your ancestors. So I don't care if you go off and have race relations or mixed race relations with anybody, but I consider it a treason to our history and to our ancestors for you to go and do it. Let me go and put all the sins that have come before all of your ancestors onto you as you shall bear the sinage of all of your ancestors and all of those people. In that way, nobody should be free and everybody should be into prison because everybody's ancestors has committed heinous crimes in their past. But you know, let's judge people by the content of their character rather by the colour of their skin or their heritage. Hmm. How could you fall in love with the son 
of the man that raped your grandmother, castrated your father. I don't, I don't understand that type of thinking. Well, let me just quickly explain it for you. It's because people are not race baiting and they don't see everything as us versus them or black versus right or white versus people of color. They just see it as we are all one human race. I don't know. Sounds like a good ideology to have, to be fair. But if you understand that these people have only known slavery, it reminds me of a dog. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that didn't understand what he was trying to get at there, he's calling black people that go out with white people under the guise of some form of his ideology of slavery, that it would be the same thing as you being a loyal dog. Yes. That's him saying that you are a loyal dog for going out with a white person. Some of these dogs, not all these dogs, because some of these dogs don't play that. It reminds me of a dog. You can take your dog, slap your dog, kick your dog, and then next thing you know, the dog act like it forget all about it. That's how we are. Wow. That's a little bit of a hot take right there. So anybody that wants to decide that their race mixing is basically being battered like a dog and is keep on coming back to its master for food. I'm not sure this analogy is going to get any better, but... Let's carry on, shall we? All these things these Pecklewoods have done to us, these crackers, these demons, these races, whatever you want to call them. Projection much? All the things they have done to us, and we act like, oh, it don't mean, that was a long time ago. You a damn lie. Even if there was some aspect that is still going on today, some form of slavery or indebted servitude, whatever you want to use as an example, and not everybody was using it, and it was a minority of people that were doing it, then the majority of people would be against it. Amazingly so, that would also mean that people are individuals and not collective groups, and to classify people as collective groups could be classified as a bigoted response of classifying groups of people. For instance, all black people are murderers because there are groups of black people that are murderers. Guess what? That's not true. So why is it true that all white people are racist if there are some people that are racist? Do you see how your logic does not work? No, we've been here before. Never mind, carrying on. Physical slaves were actually still alive in the 1930s and the last child of a physical slave died in 2002. That's not a long time ago. But that's your justification because you're a pitiful piece of trash. What? For loving somebody based on their character and a way that they treat somebody rather than forcing themselves to stay within a certain race because you dictate to them because you have racist tendencies because you have bigoted understandings of collective group ideology because you want people to be pure because you don't want people to be diluting their dna with the pecker words yeah they're the piece of trash I wonder, and I question television, I don't watch a whole lot of it, but I notice the commercials and the TV programs, there is a purposeful, purposeful intent to promote this interracial crap between pink people and soul brothers and sisters. Why are they doing that? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if it could be something along the lines of easily when you're selling products that if you have a white or black woman with a white or black man as a family unit that you can try to appeal to both white and black demographics to be able to sell your product rather than the idea or visualization of one or other. In other words, try not to be fucking racist you bigot. Why are they promoting? It reminds me of the snapping turtle. 
See, interracial relationships, this interracial garbage, it, it, it's a, it gives you the illusion like you are included, like you have been accepted, like you're part of the society. It reminds me of a snapping turtle, that little worm looking thing in the snapping turtle's mouth. And the fish think that is real. The fish think that is a worm. The, fi the fish think that is real. You think because white folks smile in your face. You think because white folks shake your hand. You think because white folks give you a little ding a -ling, give you a little vagina. You think that you made it. One, how do you know what people are thinking? You can only make an assumption. And my assumption for people that go with opposite races, if you could call it opposite, is a case of that they fell in love with the fucking other race. They fell in love with the person, not the goddamn skin colour. Why is it that it's all to do with skin colour and being accepted and the us versus them, the black versus white? Why can't you just understand that some people don't want to see race and some people just want to fall in love with people without having old dinosaurs like you tell them that they can't because it's against their ancestors. It's against their race, their race traitors. It's treasonous. You think that white folks, because they might allow you to have a little money, you think that you have been accepted into their society, that they love you. It's nothing but bait for something bigger. Oh, wise one, please tell us how this falling in love with somebody is a bait for something bigger. Some conspiracy theory that's designed to keep the black man and black woman down. Come on, hit me with it. It's false. Like that little worm in the snapping turtle's mouth until you get close enough and then you end up dead. Wow, okay then. So white people are baiting black people to become partnerships with them so the white people can kill their partners. And I thought that normal conspiracy theorists were fucking lunatics. Like a suicide bomber. A suicide bomber wants to get close to you. See, interracial, all this, all this type of activity, they want you to get close to them. A suicide bomber. For what? So I can kill you. To make it easy. I was actually only being sort of half serious when I said conspiracy theorists. But now white people are suicide bombing black people by having interracial relations with them. Um, okay. Okay. Men, I don't care what man you are. I don't care if you're Caucasian, soul brother, an Indian, or whatever you want, a Chinese, or some Asian. It is unnatural for a man to want to be part of some type of interracial relationship because the nature of the man supposed to be unless you have been destroyed as a man because you will not see this in nature when you look at the black uh the blackbird there are, there are all types of blackbirds but this blackbird stays with that blackbird this blackbird stays with that blackbird they do not intermingle they do not intermix they don't do that there's a reason for that. And a male is only concerned with the strength and the life of his own DNA. So we kind of got there in a roundabout kind of way, didn't we, Mr. Angel? You're now trying to say that men that find opposite races or other races attractive are now not real men that are now not interested in procreating or having their DNA transmute to the next generation or transfer to the next generation. Are you retarded? If 
the man is trying to have sexual relations with somebody from another race, they are by definition trying to procreate and pass one's genetic information to the ability that they can, regardless of your beliefs, onto the next generation. Your point is self-doubting, it's self-destroying. But I suppose you can't see that because you're kind of blinded by the race fog. A blackbird, a male blackbird, has no interest in a female red winged blackbird because if he put if he bring if they bring that together, that dilutes that dilutes his DNA. Even if that was true, even if it was, which I'd like to see your citation to say that blackbirds don't interspeciate. For a start, if what you said was true, that's to do with the diversity in species, meaning that some species under the same genus cannot interbreed with each other by species. That's the reason why they are not interested. It has nothing to do with genetic information not wanting to be passed on. It has to be with the fact that they cannot breed, not that they choose not to. Where we are the same species, which means that we can interbreed. Now, those are to do with choices, where what you're trying to suggest is purely done by DNA. But, I'm sure you understand that. The soak that gives us our answer, that gives us our answer, the reason why the so-called Negro in America, the reason why we are not strong like we should be, the reason why we don't carry ourselves the way we should be, the reason why we're supposed to have freedom, but we don't act free like we should be, is because we carry this weak DNA, DNA pool. And we make ourselves even weaker because we think that is a good thing because I'm lonely. I'm lonely. By your own definition then, if it works on the way that black people having relations with white people are diluting the black race, then does that not mean that white people having relations with black people also dilutes the white race? So let's go with your premise of using pure DNA. Does that not mean that eventually, if you continue to race mix, that you would all be on level playing fields and then there wouldn't be any differences? Isn't that something worth fighting for? Or is it a case of just let fucking people do what they want to do and who they want to do? And make it, and you say, and so maybe it's true when they say that the Negro is a weak race. When you dilute your DNA, and you gambling, you putting all these D DNA stuff together, and you wonder why your children have all these different genetic problems. There's a woo. I I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Angel Stubnub. Are you trying to say that people that mix and racially mix are causing genetic defects to their children? Please provide citations for your claim. Otherwise, it can be dismissed without any evidence, even if it, that's absolutely ridiculous and heinous to even suggest or say. Have you ever, how many of y'all like to drink soda? Now, you, got, you have 7-Up and you have Pepsi and Coca-Cola, you got Sprite or whatever these different sodas is. What what happens when you mix all that stuff up? Now some people might like that. Oh, that tastes good. But that don't taste good. That's not there's a reason why it's separated. I mean, apart from this argument absolutely being full of fucking shit and not even treading water for a start, we're not soda where when we procreate, we are passing two sets of DNA into one person to be able to live their life, to pass their DNA on and so on and so forth. It does not matter if that child is white, black, mixed race, mulatto, whatever. But the fact that you would even try to go down that road to say that, oh, soda is a great analogy for what I'm talking about, is completely and utterly ridiculous.
ridiculous. It makes no sense to compare humanity to a soda. It makes no sense to compare humans or animals to a inanimate object that is designed specifically for that. There's a reason why. Because once you dilute Sprite, it's no longer Sprite. Once you dilute Coca-Cola, that's not Coca-Cola no more. It's some kind of mess. And that's what you have dealing with this interracial stuff. And a lot of these children, we call them mulattoes. That's what they feel like. They feel like a mess, confused mess, because they don't know really what to belong to. So is that to do with people like you that are saying that they are an abomination, that their DNA shouldn't be into bread, it shouldn't be anywhere? And this goes for black people on their side, for the purists, and it goes for white people on their side that are the purists as well. The two groups that are combating in the middle to literally destroy identities because of the idea that DNA should be kept separate under the guise of purely a skin colour, the definition of differences in melanin. Is your own goddamn doing where you're the ones that are perpetuating that those type of people are abominations that they shouldn't exist because they're treasonous to their own people and that's on both sides again not just blacks and not just whites and it's because we're not acting in a natural sense there should be no confusion a child should not have to be confused a people should not have to be confused there's a reason why there's a reason why this is promoted. And the reason why, chances are, is to cause you death. And that's, that's it. That's where I'm going to end this video. White people are only going with black people to cause them death. But for some reason, when black people go with white people, that's not to cause death. Why is it only a one-way trip if it's supposed to be happening that way and that's the way that people are thinking? Or is it the Black Widow situation where the woman will kill the man even though the man was the one chasing the white woman? Or vice versa in that circumstance? Amazing. Just literally amazing. I've seen a lot of race baiting in my time. And I've seen a lot of bigotry in my time. Again, when I said to Reality's Temple on Earth that I was going to do this video, and I will let him know I've done this video, I said to him that I was going to be quite respectful. Unfortunately, at that point, I'd only watched around about 10 minutes of the video before I knew I was going to do the whole thing. Now, I have decided I'm not going to be as respectful as I could well have been, and I'm just going to tell it how I think it is on this aspect. I have never seen from whites or blacks the amount of vitriol that is coming out of your mouth to try and push a divide between white people and black people. To saying that white people that find black people attractive and vice versa are abominations and race traitors to their own people is absolutely diabolically amazing to me. To the point where I'd actually like to offer an extension of being able to understand what your morality and what your opposing idea is to this and why you think the white people that are going out with black people are just there as suicide bombers to somehow kill the black people off. I'd love to explore that idea with you and understand where that actually comes from. So. You have my email address, you know who I am, you know how to get in contact with me, we've, we've done certain things before obviously. I am more than happy to come onto your channel to talk to you about it, I am more than happy for you to come onto my channel to talk about it, or even going on to a separate channel to have it moderated if necessary, though I don't feel that we need that, but that's up to you. I would love to be able to talk to you about this because I find it very interesting that you have the polarization of black people or blacks in your instance or the polarization of the white supremacists in that instance that think almost exactly the same as you do, you just have to interchange the word black and white. And I really want to understand why the differences are and why you dislike race mixing. I really would like to understand that. So with that all being said, I think it's 
Best for me to say au revoir, farewell, adieu, I vita zen, I see you all again. But first of all, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this video, and don't forget to check out my new videos. See you all again real soon. Bye bye for now. Thank you.